we present feel any force for estimating contact force feedback from tactile sensors. This paper addresses the estimation of 3D contact force using vision-based tactile sensors. We automatically collect a data set of tactile and depth images along with corresponding forces. Our data-driven model learns a depth-aware relationship between tactile images and 3D force. We also demonstrate a model's applicability in real-world scenarios. To encompass a variety of real-world surfaces, we used 10 unique indenter shapes in our data set. These were pressed onto the sensor in various orientations during data collection. Here are some demonstrations from the collection process. After data collection, we subtract the tactile images from the sensor-specific background image to mitigate sensor manufacturing biases. The processed tactile images is then fed into a vision transformer, which learns a force-dependent representation to optimize a depth-aware loss function. In our experiments, we have studied three main questions. Does the model generalize to unseen real-world objects and sensors? Can we consistently predict the force while pushing an object? Can we control the force while grasping objects? To address the first question, we collect a data set of 10 real-world indenters. Notably, the attention map of our model shows it successfully learned to focus on contact area, demonstrating negligible difference in performance for seen and unseen objects. To assess our model's robustness against variations in gel side mini sensors, we compare its performance across different combinations of sensors and gels. These variations in physical properties inevitably led to slightly higher errors on unseen sensors. Nevertheless, to compensate for these manufacturing biases, we propose a low-cost calibration process requiring minimal data to fine-tune the network, ensuring high accuracy across different sensors. Here's a demonstration of data collection for calibration. Our model demonstrated adaptability, requiring only 100 images to achieve equivalent performance on new sensors. Additionally, we achieved comparable performance when calibrating on digit sensors, exhibiting distinct physical and optical properties. In our next experiment, we attempted to weigh objects by pushing them, taking into account the friction between the objects on our desk. We observed that we could estimate the weight of the object with a 10% error margin across four different objects made from various materials and textures. In the control deformation experiment, we found a mapping relating force applied to a plastic cup rim and the resulting deformation using a force sensor. We then replicated this force using a gray pair with two gel side mini sensors pushing the rim in the same way. The similar deformation observed in the Graper test confers the accuracy of our model for grasping tasks. For instance, we tried to pick up delicate objects like fruits. This level of accuracy of estimating grasp force is crucial for robots to handle delicate objects. Our research explores this challenge, aiming to find the ideal balance between a firm grip and avoiding damage. Check out our website for more details and thank you for watching our video.